everybody, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today I am going to make a card using the hashtag Elfie stamp set. I know it's super early for a Christmas card, but this idea came into my head and I just had to do it. Like, it's just the idea and I hope it works out, but I'm going to be using this image over here. One of the sentiments I haven't decided and I'm going to use these little... Um, snowflakes, stars, whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to use this stamp set. I know it's so naughty, but I just have to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and with regards to this catalog, um, this, this is where this stamp set comes from, and that's the holiday catalog. This will be available on the 4th of September for you to order from. For my customers that have ordered in the last six months, I have sent this out to you yesterday morning. So um, it will take roughly a week to get to you depending on where you are in Australia. So if you're in Victoria, for example, this will take a little bit more than a week to get to you. And it just depends on Australia Post and how fast they are. So my apologies in advance if it takes too long, but I did send them out yesterday. So you'll get one in your hands. So um, we'll get started on this um, card. I can't wait. Been hanging for it. <laughs> um, I'm using a crumb cake cardstock. It's half an A4 and I've scored it in half again and that makes an A6 card base. It's going to be a one layer card. I thought it would be fun to uh, you know make this card with crumb cake just for something a little different and we're going to be using our uh, different stuff so it's going to be exciting so <laughs> what I'm going to do with this card base is I'm going to whack it into my Stamparatus and I'm going to take out that image where is it there it is and I'm going to have that here on the side I'll just angle it where I would like it And I'm going to stamp that with uh, Early Espresso ink. And I love using my stamp platform because it helps me to... And you know what? I'm going to use a magnet just to keep it in place up the top here. I'll do that over there. All right. So that should do it. And I'll just stamp it down and that's with early espresso ink I'm going to stamp it again to, just to make it a little darker and I want this to be a one layer card just for something different make sure it really gets um, stamped well. I'm going to do it one more time, three times the charm. And just press in areas that didn't come out as well. So, And I think that turned out fantastic. So I'm going to put this early espresso away for now. I'll give it a clean just so I don't get stuff everywhere. Okay. I'm going to take this out and just leave the stamp in there in case there's an issue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to also get my Whisper White Craft Ink or it's a pigment ink. And I'm going to use my uh, makeup brush and I'm actually going to just ink blend some white pigment ink around the image. So I forgot to bring my craft mats. Just give me a second and I'll just grab that. So I've got my craft mat now. Because I wanted it to look like snow. Um, just... Yeah, just to make it interesting, I thought it would be fun. So I've got my craft ink here. 
Just move that to the side a little bit. All right. So I'm just going to get my brush in there with some ink and I'm just going to go over that there with the white. And I'm going to go over it a few times just to ensure that you can really see the white. And if it goes over the image there, I don't mind for the time being. Just want to make sure it really turns out white. All right, so I, I think I got it pretty white. Um, it looks more on camera than it does in real life, which is weird. But I just want to make sure I've got quite a bit of white in there and just leave some of the crumb cake. So that will be it with my ink blending. I'm just going to grab a wet paper towel and I'll be back in a second. So I've just got a wet paper towel, kitchen towel, and I'm just going to wipe that excess um, craft ink off. I'll put that to the side there now, I'll just grab my chamois give it a little once over and then that is it with the makeup brush as well I'm going to off camera um, heat set the pigment ink just so that um, it dries off so bear with me for one second and so I have just heat set the pigment ink so I'll just give it another burnish just to ensure it really sticks down and what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to color this image and I'm going to use my watercolour pencils.
just finished colouring this card and I think it looks super cute. So I'm just going to bring you up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring back my Stamparatus. And I'm going to re-stamp that image again with uh, the early espresso. And what I'll do as well is heat emboss it. So I'm just going to put my embossing buddy over the top of that. Okay. Then I'm going to stamp this with the early espresso. And that turned out beautiful and I'm going to um, use my Versamark ink pad over the top of that just clean that off okay give that a little bit of a, a wipe down and then I'm going to get my Versamark that over the top okay I'll take that off give that a clean again and I'm going to get um, some clear embossing powder so just give me one moment grabbed my clear embossing powder and I'm just going to put that over the top so I'm just going to quickly heat emboss this Flick off some of the bits he have taken on. It doesn't matter. All right. So I'm going to quickly heat emboss this and I'll be back and then we're going to do some more stamping. So I've just finished heat embossing this. As you can see, there's a bit of a shine. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. So it's a complete one layer card. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp this image and I'm going to stamp that all around in the white pigment ink grab a piece of paper and we're just going to stamp all over it with that but I am going to leave um, a little space here just for a sentiment so I'll leave that blank but I'll go all around so it looks like snow isn't that gorgeous Uh, that is just so cute so I am going to pour some white embossing powder over that and make that pop a little bit it also looks nice like that too but anyway I'll see I think it looks nice with the embossing powder as well Okay, so I've pretty much got it all and then there's bits and pieces that I can get rid of with just my finger that were extras.
So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to heat emboss this and then I shall be back. So I finished heat embossing that and I think that turned out just beautiful. I love that. So I really, I really am pleased with the heat embossing. Just adds that extra something, especially for one layered cards. So I'm going to grab my Stamparatus. I'm going to take out that stamp because I won't need it anymore. So I'll just carefully peel that off. And with the sentiment, I'm kind of leaning towards a holiday hello or may your Christmas be happy and full of delight with a new year that's happy and healthy and bright. Um, I'll just have a look and just do a general look see. I'll just use a holiday hello. I think that would be cute. So I'll just grab that stamp. It says a holiday hello. And I'm going to add that over here. And then I'm going to use a the grid on the back of this and just ensure that it is straight. And I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so I'll link that up now with some early espresso. And I will not heat emboss this one. I'll leave that open just in case. Wipe that off. Ink that up again. And one more time. Alrighty. So I'll just take that off. Take that off. Now that's how my card looks. I made a little mark there so I'm just going to grab my eraser and I'll be back. Okay so I've just been erasing this. It actually didn't take very long and I've got rid of that mark. See that schmutz that I had there, the little ink stain from the, from the ink. Just grab whatever's left over wise down there and I'll just add a bit more white over the top of that just to make it stand out a little better. And that's my finished card for today. Um, I hope you liked today's video. Um, I think the mono sand eraser is really good if you make you know little mistakes with tiny little lines of ink. But I'm really pleased with how this turned out and the heat embossing with the snowflakes looks really cool. Just love it, nice and bright and happy card. And I love the elf, I couldn't help it, I had to do it. And I love crumb cake with elves for some reason, it looks really cool. So thank you so much for watching. This stamp set will be available on the 4th of September, so it's not very long to go. And um, as I said before, my customers that have ordered within the last six months, have um, have had the catalogue sent off so you should be receiving this catalogue within the next week or so and um, please let me know when you receive it just send me a quick email or a, a Facebook message and then I'll and I'm then I'll be glad to know that you got it anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time bye